today. I just want to say that. I haven't gotten a chance to spin it today. <laughs> they won't let you spin the wheel? No. But today is going to be my day. Right, right after we eat, of course, we're back in the kitchen with Kyle Folks and Cynthia Baker from Cypress Grill in Hampton. Something sweet, but we're going to, uh, is coming up later, but we're going to start with the savory. Yes, savory okay. first. We're going to do a shrimp and grits today. That is a favorite around here. Yeah, definitely. So what do you do? What, what's going to make your shrimp and grits a little different? Uh, what, what stands out with ours is we, uh, we love Surrey sausage. So okay. We like to use that a lot. Mm -hmm. A lot of flavor, a lot of punch. And then uh, a Cajun cream sauce. Okay. That's going to separate us. All right. Yeah. We're going to get started on that in just a little bit. And we're also making a dessert today, Cynthia. Yes, we are. What are we going to make? Strawberry trifle. Strawberry trifle. Yes. Shrimp and grits. All right. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a good day. All right. Look at our lovely ingredients. It's all going to come together today to make shrimp and grits with Kyle Folks and Cynthia Baker. Uh, from the Cypress Grill in Hampton. And you said the key to your shrimp and grits is the surrey sausage, and it looks surrey like that's sausage. the first step. That's the first step. Um, a lot of flavor in sausage. And whenever you're working with sausage, you want to render all that fat out to get that yep. flavor going. Okay? So we have our sausage in the pan here. Mm -hmm. And now what we're going to do is we're going to add some U12 shrimp. Okay. Those great big old shrimp, all four of them. You're going to leave the tools, the tools, huh? The tails. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so are you going to talk about how you prepared the grits? Yeah. Um, We've done grits on the show before a couple of times, uh, but we did give you guys the recipe again. Um, the secret with our grits is just instant grits, mm -hmm. but we finish it with some cream and boars and cheese. Boars and cheese. So the boars okay. and cheese is certainly the, uh, the best part about that. Mm -hmm. um, so these Utah shrimp, pretty large, obviously. They 12 are. 12 per pound. Mm -hmm. um, I love shrimp. You love shrimp? I do. Yeah, shrimp are pretty good. So what we're going to do is here do a nice sear mm -hmm. on both sides. Okay. Now, would you consider this a fork, like a fork dish? Yeah. Uh, in the restaurant, we serve this like an appetizer. Uh -huh. And uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll get so that in how, a second. How do you recommend like a classy way to like get the tails off? Um, in a restaurant, fork and knife, you know, but... But then you the, lose some. You, you do lose a little bit. But you can't bit. like pick it up and like chew on it like that, you would at home. That wouldn't be a good idea if you're oh. trying, trying to be dainty. Right. Okay. And you definitely look like someone who... Dainty. I get that all the time. You know, five, eight, hundred, fifty something pounds. Dainty comes to mind just like that. I appreciate well, it. I'll take it. Man. I'll take it, man. <laughs> take it. All right. So uh, we've got some garlic and some shallots in here, mm -hmm. and we're just going to give that a little bit of a caramelize. Okay. Okay. And now what I want you to do is go ahead and start adding in the rest of our vegetables. All righty. We're going to have some onions. Okay. First. So you've got an order. Oh right, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I almost reached for the shallots. Onions. I'm learning. Okay. I'm learning. And a little bit of pepper. Put about half of those peppers in. Okay. okay. Multicolored. Yep. Nice and colorful. That wasn't half. Oh, you said half? It's, it's okay. I'm sorry. The train was already out of the station before the time. Before that registered. I'm All sorry. Right. Then we're going to add some uh, oven roasted tomatoes. How many? How half. much? Half. Yeah. Half. I gave you a spoon over there. Okay. There you go. And some mushrooms. Okay. I'm not going to say anything. I like tomatoes. <laughs> <Half>. <laughs> All the mushrooms. All I mean, mushrooms. At this point, okay. Why not? Well, when I see somebody so neat and organized, I just assumed it was measured in the amounts you wanted. I mean, that's obviously not. Are all you this, blaming though. me? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's okay. All right. Mm -hmm. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to deglaze some sherry wine. Okay. Yep. Me? I do yeah. that? Go ahead. Squirt some. Just a little more. Good. There you oh. go. <laughs> I like it. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, um, now we're going to add our Cajun spice mm -hmm. and some salt and pepper. Just a little sure, bit. Sure, go ahead. Like a little bit. A little more. I like a little bit more. Okay. Perfect. A little salt. Mm-hmm. Okay. Salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. Mixed together. Good. Looks like kosher salt. Is it kosher salt? Kosher salt and some pepper, black pepper. All and right. When is the spinach coming last? Now we're going to do our spinach and some cream. Okay, how much? Here, all I'll, right. I'll do the spinach right now. I've been fired. <laughs> Just like that. Okay. That's all? All right, Just a little, little bit, bit of cream. I just always feel like it needs a little shake. Perfect. Is enough? That's perfect. Okay. And now a little bit of butter, whole butter. Now what that whole butter is going to do is going to kind of finish our sauce a little bit more, round out the flavor. There's an issue with that one. Okay, don't use that one. Great. That's it? That's enough? Yeah. Okay, oh. so, like I said earlier, we're going to serve this over our grits. 
Our okay. boars and cheese grits. Mm -hmm. Well, that comes together pretty quickly. Very quick dish. Um, the key is getting all your mise en place, getting all your stuff together. Yes. Preset, measured. Once you do that, yeah, you're, you're home free. Cynthia, do you enjoy cooking with Kyle as much as I do? Yes, actually I do. He taught me how to make this. <laughs> it's a luscious dish. <laughs> it is. It's colorful, <laughs> delicious, good for summertime. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, we have a dessert to make when we come back, but for right now we're going to send it over to the buzz. Mm. Yeah. All of it. Okay. All righty, we are back in the hamper. There has got to be a law against that, Chris Reckling. <laughs> Fresh from his conversation with the lawyers, trying to commit dessert nap here in the kitchen. <laughs> Chef Kyle folks and Cynthia Baker here from Cypress Grill in Hampton. I don't blame him, though, because that is a gorgeous-looking dessert. It does look pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah, so now that you've shown us how the story ends, yes, go back we'll to the beginning back. and figure like out how to make it. I like like that when they start at the end. The yeah, day. like the English patient? Yeah. It was awful. <laughs> <laughs> It just took a long time for them to get back to the cave. You know what I mean? I do know what you mean. I mean, who was that about? I don't know. Him and her, her yeah. and the Indian guy? Everybody. It was, oh, awful. Moving All right, on. Let's make dessert. So anyway, um, our strawberry trifle. Yes. A typical strawberry trifle is going to be layers of cake, some sort of a cream, fruit. Mm -hmm. um, very simple, right? Yes. So we're going to start off by doing our strawberry sauce. Okay. So I have a cup of water in here. Yes. You're going to add a cup of sugar, a cup and of strawberries. Boiling and some orange zest. This is all pre-measured, so it's all going in, Kyle said. So there'll be no scolding. Mm -hmm. No scolding, no scalding. I don't think, oops, I was I wrong about that last one. I think actually just now. <laughs> but I got, I got <laughs> And the See orange zest. See what happens when I think I'm clever? All Get right. burned. Great. Okay. So now we're gonna bring this to a boil, and then uh, you're gonna reduce it, uh -huh. and just let it simmer for about five minutes. Okay. And then what I like to do is uh, throw it in the blender yeah, so that and you had puree that it up. Okay. But we, we've already got that done, so we don't have to worry about all that. Um, Fine. So the base of our strawberry trifle is Nana's pound cake. Oh, okay. see, I took a quick look over here and now, thought it was a biscuit. My grandmother's been making this pound cake for me since I was, I don't even know. Makes you feel Before special. I was even around, I'm sure mm -hmm. she was making this pound cake. <laughs> so it's a million dollar pound cake, and the secret is she puts a pound of butter and a pound of sugar in every recipe. Wow. Mm -hmm. So you can bake it in a bunt pan mm -hmm. and, or a, a half sheet tray. Um, and we've already given the guys the recipe for that so they can pull it up online. How does she do it though? How do, I mean, how do you get it to look like the little biscuits when um, you bake it in? Once uh, we bake it on a sheet tray, we cookie cutter it out, okay. just punch it out. All right. So Nana's pound cake is the secret to this whole Nana's whole pound cake, okay. Um, so we have our first layer of Nana's pound cake and then we have some vanilla mascarpone mm -hmm. and it's gonna have some powdered sugar, vanilla extract, some lemon and orange zest, mm -hmm. and you just kind of mix it lightly, not too much, you don't want to overwork it. Mm -hmm. And then that's going to be the second layer. And then we have our strawberries and then the syrup. All right. So over here, Cindy's kind of, uh, she's got her first layer already built. And just repeat. Mm -hmm. And you just kind of stack it up three layers at a time. I mean, it's a great time of year to use strawberries too. Absolutely, but it's the summertime. Could you make it with uh, like Anything, peaches blueberries, or? peaches, mm -hmm. apples, you know, whatever you want to do. Okay. You know? So what's going on with Cypress Grill these days? Uh, Cypress Grill, we've just finished a few conferences, um, had a lot going on. We've, we've run a, a Hampton Road Show special, so we've been featuring uh, several dishes that we've been doing the last two or three months. Really? And we have a special menu for that. So what do people do? Do they have to say like a secret phrase from the Not at all. We have, a, we have a special menu insert in the menu. It says, hey, Hampton Road Show has seen all. That's uh, awesome. And so it's, like been, it's been one pretty good. Some people no matter how many times you tell them, mm -hmm. are going to be wary about going to dinner in the restaurant of a hotel where they're not staying or sleeping. Correct. Do you find that you've got a lot of people who are coming in and off the street? Or how do you, how do you break uh, people of thinking of a hotel restaurant, a restaurant that's in a hotel mm -hmm. as only being for guests? It's a, it's a challenge. Yeah, that. It definitely is a challenge. Um, Sunday brunch is kind of taken off. And we kind of use the being on, our, being on the show here as a little launching pad for us. So that's been actually going pretty good. Good. Uh, but during the weekdays, it's pretty difficult still. So yeah. um, we're always encouraging people to come in, try the food at the restaurant. Yeah. All right. You don't have to. I got a know. question for you. Uh oh. The last time I was yeah. on here, okay, I was told that I didn't smile enough by my friend Michelle. Okay. So have I done better? Right. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. I feel like we've had a lot of laughs today. Okay, we've got. We've laughed. We've hurt each other. <laughs> we, you know. No. Yes. You do fine. You have a wonderful television presence. 
people say that about you all the time, don't they? Well, because that, that's, that's my profession. They don't yeah. tell me what a good cook I am. <laughs> <laughs> they do not. All right, if you want to go visit the Cypress Grill, go to 1700 Coliseum Drive in Hampton. It is at the Embassy Suites Hampton Roads Hotel Spa and Convention Center, 827-8200. So go in there and have a big meal. And then if you put yourself, you know, if you feel sleepy, how convenient that the hotel is there. Feed Let's you, start with the restaurant. Get sleepy, get the itis, go upstairs, go to sleep. That's right, the itis. Okay, well, we're all going to try to get the itis in just a little bit. Thanks, <laughs> Cynthia. Thank, thank you very much. I'm talking to. Oh. <laughs> I'm asking him who's hey, my hey, He said he didn't smile at him. Okay, well, look at, that. Look wow. at the smile now. Amazing. Worth oh, the drive. Amazing. Go find this. Mm. It's awesome. Cypress so Grill. All right, all the, uh, the how to, the recipe will be online. Thanks to our friends from Chesapeake Bay Academy. Go visit them online if you want to learn, learn more about how to teach your kids to talk to people. Also, our good folks in face. Atlantic Shores, and uh, stay safe out there. And if you don't know the laws, Calpus and Nackman will help you out. Dr. Siegel, good luck. Have fun in London.